so realistic, you can see the hairs on her back actually standing up. Today, I'm gonna show you how to get the most perfect prompt in the most simplest but strategic way. Just by having a simple conversation. It's not always about knowing the most complex methods and trickery of ways to get the most amazing looking prompts. Sometimes having a simple conversation will give you exactly what you need and sometimes even better than expected. Wait, what? For example, look at these amazing images and prompts. I did nothing but have a conversation with ChatGPT back and forth, and these were the final results. So how do you think I look? And today, I'll show you exactly where to start and exactly how to do this. In fact, we're gonna try both today, ChatGPT and DeepSeek. Ultimately, ask the right questions, you're gonna end up with the most perfect prompt. Now, when it comes to this prompt strategy, it can work for any category or need you have. But for today, our subject will be specifically for AI images. And we have a brand new database that just came out. That way you can generate AI influencers like me. As usual, any prompt that I shared any of my videos are always available for everybody to use 100% completely for free via the links in my description. Okay, so here it is right here. And it's not necessarily a prompt. You could see that it basically says that this is a back and forth conversation with the AI to get the ultimate prompt, okay? So we're basically gonna use this paragraph right here, the start and initiate a conversation with the LLM. Now again, the first time we'll try this is gonna be specifically with ChatGPT. And this is exactly where we're gonna start, okay? So I went ahead and I pasted the prompt in. Now let's take a very close look at what this is. Now it is simple, however, sometimes less is more. And it basically says, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions where you will then provide the answers. Then we're gonna have a back and forth conversation. When I'm done asking, you're gonna take all the info you provided me and then provide me with a mega specialized prompt related to that specific subject of questions I'm asking. For today's conversation, my subject is, and now put in the bracket of text, whatever your subject is gonna be. So for an example, the one I'm using today is gonna be for images. So I said within the bracket of text, incredibly photorealistic images. If you wanna do something else like creative writing, you would just put that in the bracket of text. Are you ready for my first question? Now, considering the fact that I want a mega prompt specifically for realistic AI images, start to craft and think in your head of what sort of things would you need to know in order to get that specific image. So for an example, if you wanna have a very realistic image, let's say I don't know exactly where to begin. So simply ask ChatGPT that. And so that's exactly what I said right here. What adjectives would you use to describe an incredibly realistic images? If my specific look was gonna be for like 3D render or video games, I would say what adjectives would you use to describe 3D rendered incredibly realistic video game image, okay? So it's all dependent upon your specific need and subject. As we scroll down, it gives me all of this information and you could double up and utilize this in a different set of ways. So one of two things. First, it's gonna give you the details. The details it provides you, copy and paste and save these details for later. Because what you're gonna to wanna to do is, you wanna have a centralized location. So for an example, I use all these prompt databases, okay? What these basically do is that it allows me to save every single image, every single prompt that I have used since the start of doing this. You wanna be able to keep all of that information. So as a quick example, these are some very important keywords I might wanna use in the future. High fidelity, ultra sharp, intricately textured, okay? I would take one of these, copy and paste it, and then go to like a database like this one I have right here, where I will put, for an example, this keyword, microscopic details, allows me to generate images that look like this. So regardless of what app you use to organize all your prompts, definitely make sure that you have a place to save them. And speaking of which, make sure you hit that subscribe button because soon I'm working on a video that's gonna teach everybody how to build the ultimate prompts database. Again, ray traced, crisp and well defined, true to life, all words that are simple, but maybe I missed out and didn't think about these. Save the ones that you like, but now is gonna come the next question. And that's gonna be this right here. So again, it's a two-way conversation. After it gives you the details and answers your question, ask a follow-up to obtain incredible realism for editorial style professional photo shoots, what specific cameras and lenses would I use? Now you're getting more specific. Camera and lenses really do make a big impact. So for an example, one of my favorite lenses to use is gonna be this one that you see right here. This Leica 35 millimeter, there's the prompt, 
I'm gonna get images, especially good at close-up images like this right here. And also with utilizing specific cameras as well. I mean, this is an incredibly realistic looking image. So again, another important thing, it then answers your question here and it gives you the fine details, very helpful things you wanna have moving forward. Now, continuing the scroll, it gives us the best lenses. So right away, we're gonna get, here's eight cameras right here going down. Now we have nine lenses. So just right away, we're gonna have a ton of different new adjectives we can use. And now one more follow-up question. Would you like me to tailor this for a specific type? Okay, now let's go even further. If my editorial photo was a Vogue magazine model for a luxury brand, how would you describe her? She's 24 years old, brown hair and blue eyes. Perfect. Now, it's going to instantly give you the description. Editorial portrait description. Now, this is great because I can already just use this prompt. However, we're not stopping here because remember, if I use this as a prompt, it's not going to include all of the most important information I just got prior. I want to have my cameras and lenses specifically mentioned in the prompt. And that is where down here below, after I give it one more follow-up, yes, add jewelry and describe her chic clothing. It does that. Okay. It gives me some very cool details, which I can also double up and use these as standalone prompts, but I'm not because now what we're going to do at the very bottom is just say this. Okay. I'm done. That's all you have to do. Once you say, okay, I'm done. Look now, based on everything we've discussed, here's your mega specialized prompt for achieving an incredibly photorealistic high fashion image. Now, here we have it. Now, notice one thing. It's long. This is going to be multiple paragraphs, maybe too long. All you have to do next is say, keeping all of the important details, please condense the prompt to make it a little bit shorter. Now we're going to get the perfect prompt right here. Look at this. Let's go ahead and copy it because look what we get. Our subject, okay, our setting, midnight black Chanel IMAX quality lighting and ultra realistic depth of field using a phase one IQ4. Nice. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's see if this really does do what I hope it does. We'll start by coming in here in the mid journey, paste this full prompt in. Now, when I did this earlier today, you could see I did the same exact one. Look at this. Look at these images I just got. Same exact prompt. Look how amazing that this one looks. We're also going to try this in free pick. Now, back over into mid journey. Look at these fascinating images right here. The realism, very impressive. I like this. This time, I'll change her hair color instead of brown bleach blonde waves framing her piercing green eyes now let's do it again back over into free pick now look at these incredible images amazing realism for all of these and again now for flux 1.1 amazing now if i come back to chat gpt i can change it up it already remembers our conversation and now i just said now do it for a supercar in future hong kong look at this i get this condensed version right here it automatically gives me this as i scroll down it gives me another one right here that's not going to be so condensed so you can keep the conversation going just like that and now just have it change up the subjects over and over again but before we do look remember i changed my other image to blonde hair blue eyes look how amazing this looks so realistic you could see the hairs on her back actually standing up now let's generate this one this will be of the supercar now speaking of supercar back in mid journey look at these amazing four we got right here great job and again back in free pick it gives me four of these amazing looking images of supercars great job here now, to take things to another new level, now let's try this conversation in Deep Seek. Now, this one is really gonna blow your mind. So back in Deep Seek, you can see I have Deep Think R1 turned on. So it's gonna take a little bit longer, but I love when it does think out loud because it allows you to see the level of detail. So there's my original question. As I scroll down, it gives me everything I want. And I said, what adjectives would you use to describe an incredibly realistic image? Same thing I did before in ChatGPT, okay? But in deep seek, it gives me a lot more information. Look at this right away. 15 amazing and very important key details and words and adjectives I could use moving forward. So not just for now, but in the future, I want to make sure I save all of these adjectives scrolling down. The next thing I changed up my subject a little bit. 
This time I said, to obtain incredible realism for selfie style social media influencers, what specific cameras and lenses and details would I use? So as we scroll down now, look at this. Look at the level of detail we get from DeepSeek. Okay, even more cameras. The reasons of why and best for situations, smartphone options, lenses, lighting, key details. Now, I haven't put this one yet. It's already in my chat ready to go. And what I said was, if my influencer photo was of an Instagram model, luxury brand, how would you describe her? She's 24 years old, okay? Let's see what happens here. And now in real time, you could see the deep think process and all the information we're gonna get in real time. So I didn't have to say, okay, I'm done this time. I think just by providing this final level of detail, it already went ahead and gave me this large mega prompt. So there we have it, okay? So I think again, this time, what we're gonna have to do is do the same process I did in chat GPT, where I actually said, keeping all the important details, please condense the prompt. And then hopefully it gives me a better prompt, not with all these bulleted points. Okay, perfect. And right away, I can already see it's giving me exactly what I want. In fact, this prompt is very impressive because the level of detail is insane. And now we have our final two images in Mystic. Wow, these look amazing. Great job. Okay, so there you have it. A very simple strategy all by just having a conversation with ChatGPT or in the other case, DeepSeek. But let me know what you guys think. And remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching.